See, we all know that the British led to the fall of many empires. And today in this video, we are going to see one such fall of a big dynasty. Yes, if you want to know what it is about, do watch this video continuously. Let us learn about the Anglo-Mysore Wars. Anglo-Mysore Wars are the longest military confrontations in the history of India. They were fought for control over Mysore territories. And it was fought between the British and the rulers of Mysore. Now coming to the wars. The first Anglo-Mysore War was fought between 1767 and 1769. See, in this war, no, the Nizam of Hyderabad, the Marathas and the English allied together against Hyder Ali. They waged war against each other for more than a year without any conclusion. But when Hyder Ali sneaked into enemy territory, it triggered chaos. This forced the British to end the war with the Treaty of Madras on 4th April 1769. Okay, and now comes the Second Anglo-Mysore War. This was fought between 1780 and 1784. The main causes of this war were British not following the Treaty of Madras and Marathas attacking Mysore in the year 1771. Okay. And due to this no, Hyder Ali sought the help of French for guns and ammunition. He started importing French war materials through Mahi in Malabar coast. British attempted to capture Mahi also, but that was not successful. Finally, Hyder Ali formed an alliance with Marathas and Nizam of Hyderabad. They plotted against the British and attacked the Carnatic. They also defeated the English army colonel Bailey in 1781. But the Marathas and the Nizam ditched Hyder Ali after diplomatic efforts by Sir Ayrcourt. Meanwhile, Hyder Ali died in 1782 and his son Tipu Sultan carried the war for one more year. Since there was no positive outcome, both sides opted for peace and concluded the war with the Treaty of Mangalore in March 1784. So for the first Anglo-Mysore War, the treaty was the Treaty of Madras and for the second it is Treaty of Mangalore. Okay. And then comes the third Anglo-Mysore War. It was fought between 1790 and 1792. The war began in 1790 when Tipu attacked Travancore. Since it was the only source of pepper for the East India Company, the British sided with the Travancore and attacked Mysore. Then in 1791, Lord Cornwallis marched to Serengipatnam. In this war also, the Nizam and the Marathas supported the British. See, Tipu offered serious opposition but he was eventually defeated in the year 1792. After the war, the Treaty of Serengipatnam was signed in the year 1792. Then comes the final fourth Anglo-Mysore War. It was fought between 1798 and 1799. See, in 1798, no, Lord Wellesley came to India as the new Ghana general and Tipu's relation with the French were seen as a threat by him. So, in order to overpower Tipu, Lord Wellesley forced him into submission through the subsidiary alliance. But it was not enough for Wellesley. So, the final war began on 17th April 1799 and ended on 4th May 1799. Note that the war ended with the fall and capture of Serengipatnam and the death of Tipu Sultan. See, it took 32 years to subjugate Mysore. As I said earlier, it was one of the longest military confrontations. And after the Anglo-Mysore Wars, the threat of French revival in the Deccan was also permanently eliminated. The British chose a boy from Udaya dynasty as the Maharaja of Mysore. And the Udaya dynasty ruled the state of Mysore until 1947. And know that they also joined the Union of India. So finally in this video, what did we see? We saw about the fall of Seringapatnam. Yes, we saw about the four Anglo-Mysore wars. And if you want to know more such UPSC related topics, do watch our Hindu newspaper analysis regularly. It will be really helpful to clear all three stages of your UPSC examination.